You see, if I was running indoors, I'd still warm up outside. Anyway, um, Dale Clutterberg, Lee Emanuel going for Great Britain, Tom Farrell also uh, dropping down to 1,500 metres, but they're up against two of the two pacemakers on the outside. There's Akida and Suleiman next to each other. Akida has already run a very quick world-leading 3,000 metre, 7.39 this year. But 1,500 is no slouch at that either. Suleiman, as I've just said, in Stockholm the other night, ran 214 and bits for the 1,000 metres. Superb performance indoors, a new world record. Broke the record of Wilson Kipke. The fine mark for the UK athletes, 339.5. Fast pace, likely to be set here by the two pacemakers. They've asked for about 153, 154 through 800 metres. So hoping, oh, a little bit of pushing and shoving there. One or two others I had mentioned, uh, Hannes, I think it was, who just got in a little bit of a push with Tom Farrell towards the back of the field, but they've settled down. And Suleiman has gone very close to the two pacemakers, showing his intent right from the beginning. And Aguida not too far away, and Lee Emanuel just moving up to take closer order. In between him, the two Kenyans, Bergen and Quebec. Yeah, Egido, I watched him race in um, in that 3,000 metres where he just held off Kozelska on the final bend in Stockholm. Looked very, very strong, and he'll be looking to get as close to Suleiman as he, he can here today. They will all have watched that world record and seen how strong Suleiman looked and will want to get as close as possible. Well stretched out, really quick pace being set, maybe a little quick through 400 metres. Too fast, really, by one of the less experienced pacemakers. Uh, the American, Wichorek, and next behind him, Ruben Bett, who's uh, pretty good at this sort of thing. So they're settling down. And for the likes of Tom Farrell and Clutterbuck towards the back, maybe even Lee Emanuel, probably went through in about 57, 57 and a half, which is much smarter. But Lee Emanuel, the best placed of the British athletes at the moment, but they are well spread out as they go through 600 metres. I guess you can say when you've got a field of this size, then it's maybe a little bit good that the pace is hot early on just to string it out so there's less pushing and shoving there. And you can see Lee Emanuel just breaking up a little bit of daylight between him and Halusa, Halusa behind us. Like to see some of those guys, like you can see Hannah's moving around now. I'd like to see Tom Farrell try and close that daylight a bit. That's yes, wearing the hat, headband, Hannes who uh, mixes cross-country and indoor racing, ran a very fast 2,000 metres, five minutes four, which is really world-class recently. And that back group may have run this a little bit smart here, just starting to catch up through 800 and 155, but a 30-second lap there, so it shows, you know, if you go out hard, then you slow down, you're just inviting everybody to punch up behind you. So Bet now will try and stretch it, pick up the pace. Suleiman in second, Nagida in third, then Bergen, then Quebec, then Emmanuel, then Hannes, then Tom Farrell, Halusa and Clutterbuck at the back. You can see that a little bit yo-yoing of the pace, taking its toll a little bit, but Suleiman was almost chopping his stride there, trying to stay behind Bet down that home straight. And now he hits the front, he's got the chance to start stretching out a little bit. 10 seconds slower through 1,000 metres than he ran in Stockholm, so this will feel easy to Suleiman. Hannes moving up, taking closer order now. Egida is there, the two Kenyans, Bergen and Quebec, and Emmanuel well placed. Tom Farrell trying to close the gap now, but this is where the kick starts. Will Egida be able to stay and hang on to Suleiman, who's stretching out early here, for about 300 metres to go? And there's still a big group around the outside. Quebec forces Egida forward, and the Moroccan attacks Suleiman. Has to respond here. This time round, they'll hear the bell. Egida in the front, Suleiman, the two Kenyans, Bergen and Quebec, and then a gap. Emmanuel moving into fifth place. Suleiman will have to work around Aguida, who can be very, very strong in the last 200. He's shown that in major championship, and it's stretching down the back straight. Suleiman can't get to him at the moment. And look at Aguida, kicks away again. Superb running from the Moroccan. Suleiman left trailing in his way. World records are not, he can't catch Aguida. And Aguida, 334.94, Suleiman in second place. Quebec might have just nudged third, and certainly Lee Emanuel would have got a qualifying time there. I'm pretty sure around about 3.38, something like that. But that was very impressive. He's so strong, Aguida, you know, he's 5,000 meter strength, and when he leads out like that, he is quick as well, Paul. And Suleiman, I think, was too confident there. I think he thought he just could go past him.
I think Suleiman was very confident coming in, and I think for a little part of that race, but prior to this, Iguid was watching Suleiman and waiting for him to make his move. And then when Kibet Triton came around the outside, that prompted Iguida to launch his kick. And here, he was just out in front and running away and showing how strong he was. I don't think he realized how much of a gap he had built up over Suleiman over that last lap, but very, very strong. But when I watched him race um, and hold off Kajelska in Stockholm, the same thing, but Kajelska looked as though he was really going to come past him with 50 metres to go, and he was able just to respond and just to keep holding from the front, which is a very, very tough thing to do, particularly indoors. Tidy up the results of the men's 1500 metres great race. Yeah, just to confirm really more than anything else, the Lee Emanuel in fifth place, 338.68. That is a qualifying time for the World Championships, so that will uh, certainly please him. A bit disappointing.